cunt bracelet. <laughs> Hello! My name is Libby. I'm Michael. We're the Bridge City Centers, or part of. We're on tour currently. We're in Chicago, Illinois. We're gonna play here at Reggie's, and we're on our way to Muddy Roots. Here showing off my good buddy Jack-Jack right here, 2002 Chevy Astro. Been through a couple unsuccessful U-turns. We, we, awesome. we got a little wiggle action here. Bumper's still on though. Still, still goes. Good. So for, well, welcome to the van. Welcome to the van. Uh, entertainment wise, while we're driving, we like to uh, pop down this here sunglasses holder Yo. and then we take our phones duct and we take a little duct up. tape and we tape it up here for movie Mondays. Yeah. Uh, and then we put it through the Bluetooth and then everyone en enjoys a little surround sound. Welcome you to go the to kitchen. any Loves or Truck Stop, these things right here, little electric kettle, 12 volts, so you can have your we cup of noodles know. ready to go. We got Van Ramen. There used to be a cooler in here, but we left it in Detroit. The boys will drive during the day. I am sober, so at night, everyone gets fucked up, and then <laughs> I drive us to wherever we happen to be staying, which is usually some stranger's house. Um, so I always get the pretty good end of the deal. We got a little rear AC doesn't work anymore. I tried to we tried, tried to, to bootleg it back together. It did work for like 10 seconds, but it doesn't work anymore. So, baby oh, wipes. So important. So, so important. important. Don't want I got more cheap sticks. Sticky butter. Too. My friend went to Japan, brought me back this. She did have clothes, but we took them. They're gone now. <laughs> Two-bit saloon, more keepsakes. Gardner, Montana, don't ever go there. It's too much fun. We woke up with like whiskey bottles everywhere in the back parking lot. Would you like to see the rest of the van? Get the back in. Oh yeah, take this job and shove it. This is very important. Yeah, this Most is important fun. rule for touring is to never have a job so you never stop touring. Take that job and shove it. Oh, that. Well, that this happens. is typical of the moat, okay? From time the, to time. There's always beer cans falling out. It's kind there of, we go. There kind we go. of the motto. And this is our personal piece of heaven. Yeah, we got white claws, mandatory. Keystones, mandatory. A little, uh, little homemade barbecue sauce. We broke the other mandatory. one last night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this. Usually we like to try and squeeze into the van and all be together as a family. Um, but this tour, there are six of us, which you. usually, sometimes there's eight of us, and then we have to take two vehicles, but um, usually we try and all squeeze in. I also live in this van, so I got like my curtains, you know, you gotta put your curtains so nobody can see you jerking off. Seat folds down, hammock goes up, goes great, stops okay, doors, not so hot. Sticky. Not so hot on the doors, yeah. Brakes are still working, that's all you need. That's all you need. This is pretty much just a tin can on wheels. Wrong. Jack Jack is strong. <laughs> we named him Jack Jack because everybody didn't believe in him on the first tour. And like the baby from The Incredibles, might not look like much on the outside, but it's real strong on the inside. <laughs> this is actually our, what, like our fourth tour in this van? Yeah. The Bridge City Centers is kind of like a Russian doll of sorts, and inside us there are many other pieces. So Michael here has a solo act called King Strang. Um, Clyde, our mandolin player, has a solo act called Clyde and the Mill Tailors. Um, and then our fiddle player also plays guitar and has the voice of an angel and uh, Lightning Luke. So they're kind of going all the time. I and Scott, our bass player, ta-da, uh, live in Portland and are a little more stationary. Um, and then they kind of plan their tour around our tour. And then we just fly in and meet up with them and then go from there. <laughs> right. Need that shit no more. Here's the back. We had one un unsuccessful rear ending in Salt Lake City, Utah. So the bumper kind of got bumped up and he couldn't open these doors up. But luckily my dad had a sledgehammer so I just sledgehammered the bumper back down and now they kind of open pretty good. This is where all the gear goes. It's usually packed to the ceiling. In my van, so I Tetris it pretty tough. Base amp goes here. Base goes in right there then you can push it up because the bridge won't fit here and slide the base head underneath <laughs> that and then two tubs go on the back two tubs in the middle and guitars slid along the side he knows exactly how he it's likes it and if anybody yeah. else does it he throws it yeah well it's good. there's only one way it's gonna fit <laughs> sometimes we have a total of two guitars 
a, a banjo, a mandolin, a fiddle, a ukulele, and a stand-up bass all shoved into one, plus all of our merch. So, yeah, I'm touring with other bands tight. too. So at the moment, we have a new album that just came out. It's called Here's to the Devil. You can find it on pretty much everything. Um, also, uh, BridgeCityCenters.com for any of our press stuff, as well as FlailRecords.com. If you guys would like to hear some new folk punk, Flail Records literally has everything that you need. Oh yeah, hey, uh, Rebecca, my eternal love partner, I love you very much. <laughs>